Hello, and welcome to the tutorial. Today, I will demonstrate you how to use Micromapper software, which will help you to create better outcomes. Before you begin mapping, scan bodies need to be registered. To do so, click More and select Register New Scan Bodies. You will be prompted to enter the unique code of your scan flags that consists of a few letters and numbers. Please enter accordingly and press Done. In the main screen, verify that your scan body series registered corresponds to the ones you have. In the example shown, I do have APD series, which are displayed. To begin scanning, please enter the patient name and select the jaw that you wish to map. You can also type in the number of the stone model you have to check the accuracy of your camera. Next, you may enter implant locations or count. You can also select auto count, in which case Micromapper will only map those that are in the field of view. You may add any nodes in the next field. Once those steps are complete, you can turn the light on by pressing the black button on your device. Keep in mind that there is an ideal range of scanning displayed to the right. You should aim to be in their green region for the best outcome. Once mapping begins, please gently move the device from side to side in order to capture all the necessary data. You can see the progress by the circles above the scan bodies. Once finished, you can press Done or Restart Mapping by pressing the appropriate button. To generate the output in different shapes, select the desired shape from the preloaded list in the drop down menu. Selecting any of the shapes will generate a separate STL file with the flags as marked in the software. Once selected, confirm your choice and evaluate the result. However, if you wish to add your own scan flag, you can do so by pressing Other and selecting the desired STL file for the import from your computer. You can access your scans by pressing Open Output Folder button, which will open all of the Micron Mapper data. Within one scan folder, you will find all the STL files that were saved in different shapes, as well as the CSV file. The latter can be used to further resave your data.